we've talked about in the past the three things that cause illness. Fungus, number one, low body temperature, number two, bad teeth like root canals, number three. So we're going to talk about thyroid. Why is the thyroid so important and what does it do and how does it work and why do we have to have the temperature correct? First thing is a normal body temperature is 98.6. When you drop below 98.2, you start to deactivate enzymes. Now enzymes aren't alive, they're just chemically active. That's what they call alive is chemically active. So an example would be salt, that's a chemical. You put salt in ice cold water crystals and it floats to the bottom because it doesn't interact because of the chemical uh, at that temperature doesn't interact very well so it takes a long time to dissolve. Then again, if you have hot water and salt, it instantly dissolves and, and operates properly. So it's the same thing in the body. Body has to stay in a pH range of 7. Point, um, I mean 8.2 and below you start to deactivate enzymes. When you get to down to 97.8 or below, you start to deactivate a lot of enzymes. And what do I mean by deactivate? They operate slower. And in our body, a lot of chemicals have to run in tenths of seconds. Now, if they operate slower, they don't get the job done. So when you start to deactivate enzymes, it starts to make the body malfunction. And the lower it gets, the more they deactivate and the less the job that they do. That means you can't digest your food, can't make chemicals in your body properly, and you can't break down waste material to eliminate properly. So what causes the thyroid to go off kilter? Normally it's toxicity. Um, we, we live in a toxic world and most of the time um, we're, we'll talk about fungus and a different thing or we've already talked about fungus in a different segment. But that causes toxicity and rancidity in the system and the thyroid gets some of that and the adrenals aren't feeding the, the thyroid properly and so the thyroid starts to malfunction which it produces T3, T4, T7 are the, the most common and this allows the temperature to be at the right temperature to operate properly. So why does it really start to go malfunction, really starts to go really low on really serious cases, like in, in 96s, 95s in, in some cases that I've dealt with? Um, that's because of stress. So you already have a toxic thyroid it's a little off kilter, but it's still functioning. It's still keeping the temperature up, but something traumatic occurs. Now, let's say a car accident, a death in the family, a divorce, a loss of a job, um, money issues to a, such an extent that you're under extreme pressure. And so I'm going to give you an example um, going back in lineage to a caveman. A caveman falls off a cliff, breaks his leg. He goes into what they call a fight or flight mode. The, in a fight or flight mode, the body goes to the central core, makes sure that the core is running properly, doesn't care about the peripheral. It, 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 puts, it stops digestion. It goes into making chemicals to fight something or to run. But in the lineage that I'm going to talk about with this caveman instead of some cavemen that died off because their lineage didn't have this reaction, this lineage in the fight or flight mode, it lowered body temperature. Now why is that important? Well, if you have a broken leg, it's going to take a number of weeks to heal up. They may be able, not be able to hunt, may not be able to uh, run away from animals. And so what they do, they're going to hide somewhere and let the leg heal up. So with low body temperature, you're able to live on your stores for a number of weeks, or a couple of weeks more than you normally would be able to because the body temperature isn't burning calories. So you just lower it a couple of degrees and you can live an extra couple of weeks because 24 seven situation. So once the caveman leg heals up, 
He goes out and hunts. He eats. The stress goes away. The thyroid kicks back into gear again, and everything's copacetic. Problem in our society, we have a car accident, the death of the family, we go into this fight or flight, but in our society, the stress never leaves. You know, the kids, you know, have to be at school. You know, there's not enough money to pay for groceries. The cars broke down. The boss is yelling at me. And so we, we stay in this constant low body temperature state, never corrects because the thyroid is already somewhat damaged because of pollutants and, and toxicity and, um, you know, and a, you know, um, depressants and all these things that damage its ability to function properly. So we have a steady low body temperature and eventually run out of reserves and stores in our system, chemicals that weren't able to be made because the body temperature was low and the, not digesting the food properly and making chemicals in the brain properly and to eliminate waste properly. So it starts to store these poisons and a lot of, let's say, heavy metals and stuff are stored in fat to protect the body, so you end up getting overweight. Um, these are all caused from a low body temperature state. Now, what do you do about it? Well, you have to get rid of the your, your, your stress. You gotta allow the body to, the body to um, chill out. So you, and what I learned was there's no difference between physical stress and mental stress. So the body looks at it as the same. So if you've got a physical stress and you've got toxicity and, and you've got um, the body malfunctioning, low hormones, it's just the same as having um, stress, mentally stressed. So you have to address the mental stress and the physical stress to a point that the body feels comfortable to convert the thyroid back to a higher temperature so the body can start functioning properly. So you can see how this could, when, let me give you an example. When you see somebody that looks really young for their age, the likelihood they have low body temperature. And why that is, is you're not overcooking the meat. It's like anything, you, you're talking about just a few tenths of a degree over a period of years and years and years, you're not going to cook that meat, your skin, over that period of time as much, and you're going to look better, but you're not going to feel as good. And, and the worst case is the doctors don't address this. They don't understand this. They don't look at the mechanics of this. So you get somebody that has tried everything, tried every kind of chemical, kind of every kind of drug to get better, and they're not getting better, the likelihood is low body temperature. So if you have any problems, you, you look at it low body temperature and the underlying cause, if you have low body temperature, is probably fungus.